it seemed like you drove it in there. Oh, I'd, I'd, all day long, if I could get to the six, that was about all I had. I, I went to the five, maybe even just past the five. I, and then I locked the rear tires up. I thought I was going over the curb and was going to have to serve stop and go. But somehow the thing stuck. Uh, I know Johnny put the qualifying pressures there at the end, just knowing that it was going to be a green white checker. I think that was a huge difference for us. So, yeah, definitely. Uh, Drove it in way farther than I had all day, just knowing that every point was going to matter, and kind of got got lucky that it stuck. Truthfully, it was a uh, one of the six to go, thinking you're easily in, then the three wrecking me on the back straightaway, going to the back, and then I got lucky that a couple of them guys wrecked me in and was able to uh, just keep fighting and, and never give up, and was able to uh, yeah, end up two points to good or whatever it was. Did you feel like you had to make that move because when you came out on the oval, you had lost? Or you yeah. I was making good ground, you know, the three, I knew he'd wreck me literally, so that's four, and I was wanting to, to like, give it back to him because I was so mad, and then I just knew that I had to, had to go, and, you know, it's, it's a tough spot for the non-playoff guys, you know, the 43, I kind of put him in a really bad spot, and I put myself in a bad spot too, but I was just shoving him because I had to get going, knowing that every spot was going to make a difference. I think into five, my team came over the, the radio and told me I was one point out, uh, that was the 43 car that I needed to pass, so kind of shoved him out of the way and then it got the three by both of us uh, and, yeah, and I had the back straight away just kind of left to try to do a Hail Mary and it was uh, luckily the Hail Mary somebody caught it and uh, was able to move uh, on. The emotions getting out of the race car. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel happier than I ever have when I've won a race before, truthfully. Uh, yeah, just, I know what this team is capable of, especially in this next round. You know, Homestead, I feel like it's by far my best racetrack. You know, Vegas, I've been uh, able to have a lot of success there and Martinsville, we were really fast. And, we can get to Phoenix, we, we know we have a good car there too. So yeah, just uh, to have a one in eight chance to win an NASCAR championship is uh, unbelievable. I think that's why it feels very What did you think of the? What did you What did you think of the sign? You said it's been out for like 20 oh, laps or whatever. I was right behind. So Larson, like the wind off his car, made it come off, and I was right behind Kyle. So I saw it come off. It was like 20 laps before the caution, and I remember the whole lap. I was like, please don't go across, please don't go across, because I knew we were in a really good spot. And uh, I came around the next lap, and it was been, like falling down around the corner, way out of the way. So I thought we were good, and then when the caution came out, I was in turn six, and my spotter told me, you know, debris turn six. And I was like, surely it's not the sign. <laughs> and they had been there the whole time, and I guess they said the TV had just finally panned to it, it hadn't really shown it all day. So. Yeah, I was I was pretty bummed there, uh, just knowing that all them guys are gonna have fresh tires behind us, and yeah, what a roller coaster in the last five laps. I mean, what were the conversations like during red flag, knowing that hey, Bell's? Gonna yeah, be I, up I knew there. Bell. I knew Bell was gonna win, just having new tires, plus something just dramatic happened, right? Uh, so I didn't know what I needed to do. I knew me and the two car were gonna be heads up pretty much, but then. With the 21, I thought that we were both going to be out in the 99. I didn't really know what was going on, honestly, throughout the race. But yeah, the red flag, I didn't. I don't think I said anything other than what was the red flag for. So yeah, crazy day. Glad we moved on and uh, go on to Vegas next week and try to do it again. Yeah, I, I mean, I kind of had Austin in a bad spot because I was I was going to shoot to the inside regardless. And whenever I went so far to the inside, and like I said I, earlier, I drove so far past my normal break zone, uh, it kind of made it where when we came up on Cole, Austin was stuck right behind Cole where I kind of pinned him and didn't even really need to do it that way. I kind of got lucky that it all worked out the way it did. So, yeah, crazy, crazy circumstance here at the end. Yeah, glad, glad we 